हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अवनीश तिवारी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट श्री रामस्वरूप मेमोरियल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट लखनऊ टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पाइप मटीरियल्स एंड पाइप जॉइंट्स फॉलोइंग टॉपिक विल बी डिस्कस्ड बेसिकली वॉट इज पाइप मटीरियल वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पाइप मटीरियल वॉट इज पाइप जॉइंट एंड वॉट आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ पाइप जॉइंट्स coming to uh, pipe material basically uh, everyone is now aware that what is pipe basically uh, pipe is a conveying medium which is used for transmission of water on the basis of different construction materials the pipe can be of following type it can be of cast iron it can be of steel it can be of hume steel of concrete vitrified clay or of asbestos cement what are the various factor which governs the selection of different pipe materials so basically the selection depends upon the economy the pressure which likely comes to act on the pipe during working what is be the working pressure what will be the maximum permissible size and what will be the capacity of pipe and whether the availability of pipe is or not and last is labor of the construction what amount of labor is required for their construction coming to first one that is cast iron pipe this pipe are most widely used why most widely used because they are cheaper in the cost and they have high resistivity toward the corrosion which makes it highly durable and their life is also about 100 year or more in order to get the construction pipes different methods are available and these pipes are generally manufactured in the length of 3.5 meter generally these are manufactured in the length of 3.5 meter but on special order they are also manufactured in the length of 6 meter or so the different methods which can be used for the manufacturing of cast iron pipe is horizontally cast vertically cast centrifugally cast in sand line molds and centrifugally cast in water cooled metal mounts among four methods the most preferred method is centrifugally cast pipe why so because this method results in the pipe which possesses fine grained dense structure and the pipe is having uniform thickness throughout the length therefore this method is widely used and this pipe is generally preferred where the pressure is less than 7 kg per cm2 if pressure is greater than this value then we are not going to use cast iron pipe we will prefer steel pipe okay as the pipe is available in length of 3.5 meter or in a length of up to 6 meter or more then there is a requirement of joining the pipes because the length of distribution is not going to be of this much value it will be greater than these two values then we have to join the pipe and for joining the cast iron pipe we are going to use bell and spike or joint which will be discussed later this pipe can 
be joined easily and can be cut and bored easily too. These are also advantages of cast iron pipes, but certain care should be taken during the transportation of pipe and during making the connection at joints. Why? Because they are heavy in weight. That is why precaution should be taken while trans its transportation or making the joint. Next one is steel pipe. Steel pipes are generally preferred when the pipe is going to get subjected pressure greater than 7 kilogram per centimeter square or when there is a need of larger diameter of pipe then we are going to use steel pipes. This pipe have the advantages of strength, light in weight and these two properties makes it usable over cast iron pipes because of its strength and light weight we are going to prefer steel pipes over cast iron pipe. Okay? There is a requirement of preventive measures against the atmospheric conditions because if we are not going to prevent it or if we are not going to take preventive measures then there will be chances of corrosion and the preventive measure can be in the form of dipping the pipe in zinc solution what will happen this coating will protect the pipe from rusting and this action is known as galvanizing so by galvanizing we are going to protect the steel pipe from rusting the average life of this pipe is 25 years to 50 years the average life can vary from 25 to 50 years. How can we join the steel pipes? Basically steel pipes can be joined by simply welding it or we can prefer flange joint. Okay? Uh, either we are going to weld it or we are going to use flange joints. Okay? Due to less wall thickness as the thickness of steel pipe is very less, they can easily be pressed by external pressure the external pressure is in the form of backfills or uh, traffic loads what they are going to do basically they are just going to press it and steel pipe is also comparative expensive with respect to other pipes when steel pipes are encased in the cement mortar so uh, this is steel human pipe steel hume pipe what difference we are observing in these two figures that in this figure the steel pipe is encased in a cement mortar or cement concrete that encasing will be of cement mortar or cement concrete. The resulting pipe will be known as hume steel pipe man, means when steel pipe are encased in cement mortar or cement concrete the resulting pipe will be of steel hume pipe okay next is concrete pipe so concrete pipe are expensive but it is non corrosive in nature okay this comes under disadvantage and this comes under advantage thus concrete pipe is non corrosive in nature they are also extremely strong and durable they are strong as well as durable but their weight is too much high so concrete pipes are bulky and heavy in nature that's why more cost have to be here in order to handle it install it or transport it and this pipes can be either reinforced or unreinforced unreinforced pipes are preferred for a small diameter as well as reinforced and pre stressed pipe are preferred in case of larger diameter pipes
okay when uh, we have to go for larger diameter then we will prefer reinforced pipe or pre stressed pipe but when the requirement is of small diameter then we are going to prefer unreinforced pipe pre cost concrete pipes are reinforced when when the size of pipe is greater than 24 inch diameter means under 24 inch diameter we are not going to pre cost the concrete pipes with reinforcement the centrifugal force presses the mortar tightly how uh, we are going to just cast it under the action of centrifugal force and centrifugal force will result in high density water tight concrete pipes small under reinforced pipe are used at a place where we have to drain the rain water and large diameter pipe are used where there is a major water supply work okay and which type of joint we are going to use it uh, there we are going to use bell and spigot joint where the head acting is very low but in a case of high pressure we are going to use log joint or some other kind of special joints the life of concrete pipe is about 35 to 50 years and if the pipe is going to carry waste water in waste water there is a presence of sulfide and that results in sulfide corrosion which makes the life of pipe smaller so precaution should be taken regarding that too next one is vitrified clay pipes vitrified clay pipes are not used as a pressure pipe why so because there is a chances of failure okay these pipes are widely used in sewers and drainage works where there is a sewer or drainage we are going to use that particular pipe for the flow at a partial depth the main advantages of this pipe is that this is corrosion free there is a no chances of corrosion and it is also having a long life and the surface of this pipe is also smooth which makes it hydraulic efficient which makes it hydraulic efficient and this picture represents vitrified clay pipes if uh, we are going to use it under pressure what will happen because of low strength in tension and difficulties of securing water tight joint it should not be preferred at a point where there is a high pressure head which type of joint we are going to use in a case of vitrified clay pipes the joint preferred is bell and spigot flexible compression joint okay and this type of pipe is commonly made in a length of 3 feet but in length of 2 2.5 4 feet can also be obtained the diameter of pipe varies by 2 inch increment if we are going to change the diameter the variation should be like by 2 inch increment from 4 to 12 inches and by 3, incre uh, three inch on the increment of 12 inches next one is asbestos cement pipe asbestos cement pipe are basically made from asbestos that is a fiber silica and cement when we are going to compress these three ingredients under a pressure what will result there will be a dense homogeneous material and that pipe is having considerable strength this asbestos fiber basically act as a reinforcement just like in, con in uh, reinforced cement concrete pipes 
the function which still is going to serve there same function is served by asbestos fiber in asbestos cement pipe and this pipes comes under two different profiles first one is that particular pipe will be with bidding or it will be without bidding and these two different profile can be seen from these two figures one is the pipe with bidding another one is the pipe without bidding okay where the pipe is used the pipe is used basically for drainage of rain water from the roofs soil and wastage and also used for ventilation purpose and this pipe is available in diameter of 4 to 36 inches and in 13 feet length and they are used at that point where the pressure acting is also low means under low pressure head this pipe can be easily cut can be taped can be threaded for service connections and the hydraulic efficiency of asbestos pipe is also high the pipe are soft from inside the pipe is basically soft from inside that's why their performance is also better and there is no chances of rusting as there is not a use of steel so there is no chances of rusting there is not a use of iron so there is no chance of rusting and they are also cheap as well the principal defect in the pipe is that they are heavy what is the defect they are heavy as we are mixing asbestos silica and cement and they can also easily breakable so these two are the basic defects in the asbestos cement pipe next one is pvc pipes that is plastic or polythene pipes this pipe is having advantages of non corrosion there is no chances of getting corrosion and they are also light in weight which makes its handling and transportation easy okay so they are also strong and comes in long length that lowers installation and transportation cost they are also available in long length which makes it installation and transportation cost low if the pipe is available in long length then the number of joint will be also low this particular pipe is available in three different form first one is unplasticide pvc which is basically used for carrying a cold water next one is plasticide pvc pipe in case of plasticide pvc pipe the unplasticide pvc pipe is plasticide by addition of rubber when rubber is added to unplasticide pvc pipe then the resulting pipe will be plasticide pvc pipe it has lower strength and low working temperature than u pvc pipe means unplasticide polyvinyl chloride pipe coming to next that is chlorinated pvc that is c pvc this pipe are used at the places where the transmission of hot water is to be done and that temperature of hot water should be up to 120 degree celsius this pipe are basically joined with the help of thread joints or socket joints they are light in weight their cutting bending and joining of the pipe is also easy at higher temperature its strength reduces so we have to only prefer cpvc pipe and under the effect of ultra radiations that results from sunlight there is a frequent change in temperature and the exposure of pipe to sunlight reduces the life of pvc pipes these pipe are used in soil and wastewater discharge system and the thickness of pipe wall will be larger that of used for roof drainage okay the pipe which we are going to use in case of soil and wastewater discharge its thickness should be greater than the pipe which is to be used at roof drainage this pipe have good resistance against electric current they are costlier than ac pipe asbestos cement pipes but cheaper than galvanized iron pipe if we are going to compare it with different pipes it was found that they are costlier than asbestos cement pipes and cheaper than 
galvanized iron pipe next one is copper pipe basically copper pipes are used to carry hot water or steams they are having high tensile strength and also having very thin wall they can also be bended easily the bending of pipe is very easy they are made in small diameter and it does not admit rust there is no chance of rusting which makes it durable and this pipe are also coated with chromium why coated with chromium in order to enhance its appearance coating with chromium enhance the appearance of copper pipe coming to next topic that is pipe joints so what are pipe joints basically pipe joints are the connection at pipe end that ensure two pipe sections can be jointed to each other to install a pipeline of any length in order to get pipeline of any length what is needed just there is a need of connecting different pipes of different length okay and that pipe joints gives strength to the pipeline because longer pipeline section tend to bend if we are going to use a single pipeline for example this two are two different points if we are going to use single pipe for the whole length what will happen there will be chance of bending but if we are going to use the pipes in different sections what will happen the chances of bending reduces okay and the different pipe section should be jointed at different points okay there is a necessity that joint should be done in such a way that there is no chances of leakage there is no chances of leakage the different types of pipe joints are socket and spigot joint flange joint union joint nipple joint mechanical joint and in mechanical joint most common joint is dresser coupling next is flexible joint and the last one is expansion joint coming to socket and spigot joint in case of socket and spigot joint one end of pipe is enlarged and that enlarge is known as bell or socket another end of pipe is of normal diameter means there is no enlargement that particular end is known as spigot enlarge is known as bell or socket and normal end is known as spigot the spigot is fitted into the socket here what will happen the spigot end is fitted inside the socket end and the remaining space means that particular space the remaining space between the socket and spigot that is filled with molten lead molten lead is used in order to fill the spaces and when this molten lead gets solidified it results in watertight joints okay certain times uh, there is a also option that we are not going to use molten lead we can also use compounds of sulfur and other material and as well as neat cement mortar only th the difference is that in case of molten lead we are going to get flexibility flexibility at certain extent but in this case there is result of rigid joint there will be no flexibility and the amount of lead that required is 3.5 to 4 kg for 15 cm dia pipes and 45 to 50 kg for 1 1.2 m diameter of pipe and this joint is preferred for cast iron pipes next one is flange joint in case of flange joint both the end of pipe is having flange both the end of pipe is having flange both the ends are bought nearer and after getting them close here we use a packaging that is rubber gasket and after getting the rubber washer in between these two flanges with the help of nut and bolt we are going to fix it this particular joint 
are used at the location where it is necessary to occasionally disjoin the pipe and this locations can be pumping stations, filter plants and other similar location. Okay. In case of a steel pipe to be joined flanges are separately cast. In case of steel joint these flanges are separately cast and screwed down or welded at both end means the steel pipe is of normal end firstly we cast the we cast the flange and then we are going to fit it on the ends of a steel pipe and this fitting can be done either by welding or with either by a screw and the joints resulting are strong but rigid they are rigid so that particular joint should not be used at the places where there is vibrations or deflections and this joint is also expensive. So, this uh, basically shows the face view and this says the uh, shows the front view where these are the these are the flanges and there is a rubber washer and this is the bolt. Okay. So, uh, basically uh, remaining joints will be discussed in next lecture. Okay. Thank you.